Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 A Story Well. Hope you guys are having an absolutely incredible day. And uh, I am glad to be back and doing some recordings. I I, I just sat down for my computer at my computer for it's been about um a little over a month or a monthish or something like that, 30 days or so that uh, unfortunately due to some family, you know, some family illnesses and everything with my grandmother, um, things kind of were changed uh, in terms of how I can do my recordings and whatnot. And now today was kind of the first time that I can get back into things. Um, the recording schedule is going to be a little bit wonky just for a little bit. Uh, so uh, we might not be doing a video every day, but moving forward, we'll probably have a video uh, a couple times a week, or, you know, a few times a week. So that's kind of my goal. It depends on how I have to take every day as it comes. So um, if I can get a recording in that day, I am going to do that. Uh, again, I will be releasing the videos early to my members. So you guys will have early access the day before. So this video I'm recording, uh, you might have seen my community post uh, on the February 24th. So this will be coming out on the 26th for everyone, but uh, so that, it should be the 26th. And uh, this will be coming out 25th for members. So uh, if you want to join and get early access to videos, you can head over to my website, flankerfiregaming.com. Join us up over there and you will get access to early, um, early access to videos as well as uh, Patreon and as well as on YouTube. So go check them out. I highly re uh, appreciate all the support that my members are giving me. And thank you, <laughs> everyone stuck with me through this whole um, downtime. So I really, really appreciate it. And I apologize for not being there. But uh, family comes first, unfortunately, uh, when it comes to my recording. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for being so understanding and being an amazing uh, community. I couldn't have asked for a better community than, uh, than this. So thank you so much. Uh, where we last left off, I think we talked to General Ward, and uh, we, we kind of ran in with the Brotherhood of Steel, I believe. But I think we were supposed to go talk to uh, Dr. Kane about the FEV, and that General Ward wants us to launch the FEV, and I think we have to talk to him first. Now, someone made a comment, and I could be completely wrong, and I should have probably checked it before I started doing the recordings, but I think someone might have mentioned that there are options uh, if we continue going down this path uh, about uh, the FEV kind of stuff. So, I, yeah, last episode was... The Brotherhood of Steel, well, Enclave versus Brotherhood of Steel, so episode 142, this is episode 143. Um, so I'm going to continue down that line in hopes that we don't launch <laughs> the, the FEV for everyone, because I, I don't want, I don't want everybody to be, you know, uh, infected by the FEV uh, virus. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into it, man. It, I am going to be extremely rusty, so please, please. Be very patient with me. Um, keys are going to be kind of odd. I've been playing on my laptop downstairs. Um, my office is currently is upstairs. I just want to see what my weight is. Uh, we're pretty good. And I've been playing a lot of it um, in Shrouded. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed, I do have a server uh, up for in Shrouded. So if you guys want to check that out as well as uh, Pal World. Uh, I do currently have it open to members only. But if you are interested, right now there's not a, too many members that are on the server. So if you are interested, head over to the Discord. I don't know if you guys knew we have a Discord. Um, and just DM me over there and I will send you the information. Uh, please be respectful if you are. Um, it's kind of one of the perks of being a member that I will host, um, you know, servers from time to time of games that I kind of enjoy playing on my own. You guys can hang out with me over there on those servers. Um, and I look forward to doing more of Maybe that in the dance? future, so, I got uh, which to is show really, really you. cool. Uh, where is Heather? I see Darlene, but I don't see Heather anywhere. Okay, let's, um, let's continue with General Ward here, and let's Sir, get moving. Ready for your mission? Enough of my stuff. Um, yeah, what's the detail again? What are the details of my mission? Go to Hallucigen to recover a hypersonic vaporizer which Dr. Kane needs in order to release the FEV when the time comes. Okay, let's do it. Yes, sir. Dismissed. All right, so that's where we're heading. 
Hypersonic Vaporizer and Hallucigen. I think we were supposed to go there for another quest, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right here. Uh, meet Rabbit Crew at the Hallucigenic Laboratory. Hmm. Okay, where are we? We're heading down there. Where are we? We're kind of in... I don't even see me on, my, on the map. <laughs> where are we? Hello? No, no, I guess. My, this is why I'm saying I'm really, really rusty. We're not down the, down there. I thought we were kind of in this area. Oh, here we are. We're right up by the North Boston police. So we need to travel uh, south. Do we have, oh, we do have the Taffeting Boathouse. And then we could go to uh, our Hangman's Alley. So why don't we do that? We'll make this as a marker and uh, we'll head that direction. There, there. Um, oh, there's Heather. Can we get down some other way besides jumping? Because it's going to hurt us. Up I know that's going to hurt us. I guess we're going to have to go down this way. Follow General Ward. I was kind of hoping that we could skip going inside, but not the case. Uh, Taffety, Taffetine Bush House is this way. Uh, what do we have for weapons? Okay, we got that. We got that. I think we just have the two. All right. Do we have water? There we go. <laughs> we do. Uh, all coming back to me slowly. Is that ours? Oh, it is. Yeah, this is Tappington Boathouse. <laughs> Tappington Medical. Oh, interesting. I was almost going to shoot my own stuff here. That would have been good. Okay. Uh, the rule is I can't can't go to my... I, I can't fast travel to anything besides our settlement, so that's what we're doing. And what I mean by that is I have to be in another settlement before I can transfer. All right. Or fast travel, that sh I should say, not transfer. Uh, we just need to head down the river here to Hallucigen. I, I know, I'm going to hit escape a lot because I, I do that quite a bit uh, with... Is it, are we Brotherhood of Steel? Here? like a rocket launcher. Oh, that's not a rocket launcher. That's <laughs> that's her gun. Jeez. These guys are no joke. No joke at all. Uh, where did... Oh, you're in the water. Yeah, it's going to be kind of weird having to fight against those guys every time we turn around. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, got to do what we got to do. Grab our... Grab some food. I don't even know what we have for food. <laughs> we have lots of food. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, mutant fruit crepe. Hmm. Here we go again. Hitting the escape. Delicious. Yeah, so like I said, while, while I'm running here, I just kind of fill you guys in. Um, I, I learned while this whole ordeal is going on is uh, that you can learn to stream using a couple bits of software. If you guys are and I could uh, let you guys know down in the comment section. But there's a way that you can stream from your main system, almost kind of like uh, cloud streaming, but like local cloud streaming. And it kind of helped me be able to stay there with my grandmother whenever I needed to, and uh, which was pretty much all the time. And uh, so that, you know, she's doing rehab and all that kind of stuff, bringing her strength back. And 
I was able to sit there on the dining room table and actually get to play video games, which was really cool. But the only problem is I couldn't record because I didn't have access to my my recording PC at the same time, so it wouldn't have been able to been able to do any kind of recordings at the time. Plus, my whole setup is up here, microphone, everything. Um, so it would have been really difficult. But yeah, I, I, it's really cool if you guys are interested. Um, oh, Gunner Corpse inf uh, stuff. I didn't need to pick that up. I don't know why I did that. And uh, yeah, it's really, really kind of, uh, kind of fun. Um, if you guys are interested, dude, what are what are all these gunners doing? Uh, danger. Yeah, I know. These guys are all naked. Did I do this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I did. Let's set in. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. <laughs> Is that Sarge? Oh, that's why they're naked. It's because they're all puffed up on the chemical leak. <laughs> and so they're hallucinating and attacking each other. Okay, we'll just let them do their, their thing. Reception terminal. I think we've already been here. Yep, that's definitely why they're they're naked. Hello? Let them kill themselves, I guess. I think technically they would be completely naked if I didn't <laughs> remove that <laughs> option. So beware if you guys are um, getting to this point. I guess I guess you would already know uh, if you're coming here. Repeat. A chemical leak. I wonder detected. why Please evacuate the it's not affecting me. Is there a reason why it's not affecting me? Like, am I immune to the the gas? You would think that I would start hallucinating, right? It'd actually be kind of fun if you had a, um, companions with you. Sweet. Uh, and that they started attack. Maybe, oh, you know what? I am technically wearing a mask. That one was... That gunner was wearing a mask too. Well, I guess maybe one of the other ones killed him, possibly turned him on, turned on him. I'm not sure. All right, we've got some more. Nice. Goodbye. Bugs. <laughs> look at him. Please look at him. They're just like. Yo, uh oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh hello. <laughs> oh, why'd you have to shoot him? Maybe I haven't been here, I don't know. You gonna, you gonna pop out here? Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Wasn't he like right? Oh. Is that the same guy? Ooh, Tesla Science Magazine. Maybe we haven't been here. Energy weapons permanently inflict 5% critical damage. Okay, so maybe we do need to read the terminals because... We haven't... Uh, I don't think we... Maybe we haven't been in here. Maybe I just skipped it. Yes. Huh? Hello? <laughs> you, you had no idea that... Someone was coming in the door? Please evacuate the building. Pipe rifle. Alright, you guys. Oh, you guys got all the gunners in here. They're fully armored up. Sergeant. Rations, hmm? Hmm. Trooper and yeah. There the uh this is the newest version of the the, the collection too. So just just FYI, we are running on version two oh six or two oh five. Two oh five. I think it is. There we go. Uh you know what actually we're not gonna activate Please. the units. You Oops. Evacuate the building. Pressing too many buttons. Uh, I was thinking about maybe activating, but I think that would be a yes. good idea not to. Um, There's 50% additional damage. Radiation damage. No. Can care less. We'll grab the minute noodles. I don't think we get... 
Speaking of, I don't even know what my perks are. Do I even get radiation from eating now? Do I have that uh, taken care of? Mm, yeah, where is that at? There's lead belly. I don't have that yet. Hem resistance, aqua girl. Oh, you know what? Someone else also mentioned that I shouldn't have went with the second um, option of Aqua Girl because I, I, I misread this, but uh, you totally become undetectable while submerged, which is pretty much detected. useless for us. Please evacuate the building. I don't even see where it's at. I'm going to leave it for right now. Well, I'll come back to it. But yeah, I thought I thought any radiation I eat, uh, radioactive things, it's not going to do anything. Fight! Come on, fight. Do it. <laughs> hey, who's going to win? Who's going to... Oh, my goodness. You got to... What was that kind of move? Oh, oh, wait. They're turning on me. Heather. Uh, okay. I'm actually kind of enjoying this whole ordeal. It's kind of funny. Uh, I'm actually going to run back down. The voices, they, they say... They're saying what? What are the voices saying? Yeah, let's go this way. I want to read this terminal quick. A chemical leak has been detected. Uh, the Please chemical leak has been detected. Verify that all executive staff have been escorted to safety, then leave the building immediately. Procedure test subject intake. Request ID. Uh, so this was an 8 12 77. Request ID cross check with the day's test schedule. Verbally confirm that the visitor is a test subject, not a client. So there's a difference. Offer refreshments. Um, Instruct subjects to fill out intake form 12A through 12H. Wow, that must be a lot of documents. Uh, this should allow sufficient time for the sed oh, sedatives in the water to take effect. Notify the appropriate lab personnel when instructed. Complete form 12-I. Dismissal. 12J. Accidental report or 12K. Fatal accident report. Whoa. Chemical emergency. In a uh, 31576, in an unlikely event of a major Please chemical leak like it is now, the executive staff should evacuate immediately. Science staff should terminate any ongoing experiments. Does that mean the subjects? If test subjects are present, the lab manager shall determine whether to lock down the test chambers or evacuate them. Clerical staff should escort executives to safety, then evacuate due to hallucinogens in building air recycling system chemical agents may take days or weeks to dispense naturally do not attempt to re-enter the building until cleared uh cleared to do so interesting okay let's Oops. <laughs> running into the walls guys i have again very much very much uh, out of practice here, though. So. Repeat: a chemical leak has been detected. Here's another Please terminal. Please evacuate the building immediately. Uh, I'm gonna unlock this one. Weird. Uh, one one likeness. What could it be? We got anything in this one? No. Ruler, no. Field, yes. Zero, no. It's not the D or the E or the L. Or hold on. <laughs> Take that back. It's just not the D at the end. They don't want the D. <laughs> Types. Yes. Venom, there we go. Activate current protocol. Wait, hold on. What's going on now? Suppressors. Inactive. View current protocol details. Activate current protocol. Accessing protocol device done. Verifying building integrity complete. Commencing test. Please take appropriate safety precautions. Suppressor. I wonder what that's doing. View current protocol. Uh, prototype. The building. Um, access device done. Suppressor. Non-lethal target suppression via electrical discharge. Oh. View lab reports. Here's the about the hallucinogen 
hallucinogen gas, riot pacification, delivery vehicle type 2 fragmentation grenade report, 2-5 injured by grenade explosive or explosion, one serious, 5-5 five of five, suffered traumatic adrenal, adrenal gland rupture due to gas exposure result in hallucinations, erratic behavior increase uh, aggress aggression or, or frenzy or four out of five killed in ensuing melee and one out of five due Please to uh, heart failure so this is a pretty <laughs> this is a pretty deadly um, gas here that they got similar to previous tests at the concentration required for wide area dispersion dispersal massive adren adrenaline surges occur recommend to revise the chemical substrate I would say so Indicator. Uh, fuel decontamination uh, is is the goal, apparently. Class four ventilators, four. Uh, 49 out of 50 biochemical containment neutralized. Three out of three subjects suffered lethal doses of radiation. Test chamber heavily irradiated all panels and insulation relation placed. Consider reclassifying for lethal weapon research. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Eradicate um, a chemical um, leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Eradicator power supply requires further development. Current two ton weight uns uh, unsuitable for field deployment. And then that's offline. Okay, what is this gonna do? Oh, just gonna shock us nearby. Ouch! Let's turn this off. <laughs> oh no, it's it's off. Okay, it's just short term. Okay, we can't see out through that window. All right, where do we go next? Go up. Oh yeah, we were in here when we decided to go back. Are there any computers that are here? We go. Accounting terminal. Third quarter financial draft one. Repeat. A chemical I wish that would. Has been I wish I could shut that off. Please evacuate Releases the third quarter financial draft one, not for public release. Hallucigen Incorporated reported a net operating loss of one point eight billion dollars for the third quarter. Holy crap, that's a lot of money gone. Hallucigen now is in the third year of operation, aspiring to be the world's leading in cutting edge non lethal technology for police and military use. Hallucigen president and CEO Eric Rice stated that this has been a difficult quarter. Uh, that's understatement. With significant delays in several major product lines, nevertheless, we remain optimistic about the potential of our research and hope to achieve a positive cash flow within the next two years. We would hope. Here's draft two. It is pleased to report the third quarter's revenue of 1.1 billion, so they, <laughs> it sounds like they're cooking the books here. Elucigen now is, the is in the third uh, year of operations, aspiring to be the world's... Oh, so the same thing. Uh, the CEO stated our long-term contracts have proved, uh, provided a us with a strong financial foundation in the Please current goal... evacuate the building. ...current global political climate. We expect a tremendous demand for our product in the month and years ahead. So is it possible that maybe something happened between draft one and draft two, or right after draft one was written? And so they they had to rewrite it so that maybe they'd get more support because of the war. Is that possible, or am I? Is now in effect. Repeat. A security lockdown is now in effect. Please remain in your test chambers and await further instructions from uh -oh. your lab attendant. Sounds like they're beating each other up. Look out! Look out! You look out! You're going crazy. Let's see here. You know, honestly, I shouldn't be wasting my ammo. Oh, that's, there's no glass there. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate. Oh, I can't even hit them from there? What? Oh, there's glass here? <laughs> there's glass there. There's no glass there, but there's glass here. Where is there no glass? Okay, they they all have glass. Nope, this one doesn't have glass. Oh, Heather, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you got some tattoos on you, girl. Whoa, when did 
That's new. Uh, test chamber terminal. Works. No. Uh, no, that's not going to be it. Basic, no. Definitely not that one. Is there another? Sweet. Here we go. Override lockdown chain uh, test two. Open the door. The building. I got a question. How did they get in here in the first place? Like, how did they lock themselves in? I'm, I'm like, were they searching and then the lockdown happened? Or did they trigger some kind of this is everywhere. something? I don't know. I'm gonna, not really sure. Uh, can we go in here? No. Can we home? Oh, the lockdown's done. Are you gonna shut up about the whole thing going on, or what? It would be nice. Got it. Got it. What do we got in here? Visor. Suit. A chemical leak has been detected. Of course Please not. Please evacuate the building. I'm working on it, bud. I just don't know how to get out of here. Is this the way we came in? It is. Okay. We're going to go... We, we've got to try to go the other direction. Not through this door. Not through that one. It's this one here. Mwah. Welcome to the Hallucigen Labs Observation Area. Oh. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Oh, well, I guess I could have came up here first instead of having to take out everybody. Uh, current. Seed your observation lab. Greetings, VIP. Uh, introduce a chemical introduce has Hallucigen. Uh, relevant products, activate automated demonstration system, observe automated demonstration, windmill functions occur, trigger the diff a different, uh, different demonstration to switch focus in the event of catastrophic failure or immediate leap following a test of eradicator, escort VIPs to the conference room for a marketing presentation. Now, I'm sure that would be pretty disturbing. Uh, clear lab of the test subject blood fluid uh, fluids after a test of the eradicator notify facilities to replace the test chamber yeah. Now they need to replace all the stuff uh, You like that? I didn't do anything. I just read things Oh, someone's there Darlene Whoa, Darlene <laughs> Small amounts of residual radiation may persist in the affected area. Okay. Dosage well. subject to change pending safety evaluations. I don't remember anybody being in there. I think I took care of them before. Invis away from hallucinogen is a new advance in the field of stealth technology. Capable of stealth. doing away with cumbersome personal generators forever. Whoa. Some subjects may become inaudible and or intangible. Effects may be permanent. Further research is ongoing. Yikes. It's like destroy the whole room. Criminal scum? Don't get a gun. Try Hallucigen Suppressor, a safe, reliable, and effective way to paralyze even armored targets. Yep. Side effects may include the partial and paralysis of the user, bystanders, small animals, and or large animals. Discretion is advised. Like Tesla's death uh, death ray. Oh, Darlene, you're fine. Good. Hallucigen gas. Reliable crowd control since 2055. Hallucigen gas can stop a riot faster than any other product on the market. And without the messy side effects of our competitor's offerings. Use of caution. Unpredictable sensory experiences may result. Subjects exposed to high dosages may suffer catastrophic adrenal failure. And four. Next. Hallucigen's dispersant is you can't, ideal. You can't even see this room. Clearing an area of civilians. Can't. Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or All loss right, of life well. sustained in mass panics that may or may not result from the use of dispersant. Hello. What? 
Um, what? Gunner? Where are you going? I think this was a legendary, or one of these were? Yeah, Sarge. Sarge's armor. Okay. Uh, not a legendary, though. It, I thought it showed as a legendary. No, stop it! Detected. Please, evacuate the building. I'm sorry, buddy, I'm not doing anything. A sweet roll, plastic bowl. Alright, okay, let's head this direction. We got another terminal, looks like. Oh, here we go. Here's the hypersonic vaporizer that we need. I hope I'm not screwing things over here. You know, I, I think it, uh, what's going to happen if it ends up that I can't, um, like I screw up and I do end up doing the whole FEV thing. Um, I, I want you guys to kind of weigh in in the direction that you want me to go. Uh, if that's want me to continue going on with the quest line or if not, you know, let me know and maybe we'll just take out the, take the, the enclave out. And uh, we'll we'll go from there. Got it. Uh, okay, chemical leak has detected. Of course, we know that. Repeat. Appointment calendar ten twenty five seventy seven. Detected. Please evacuate. Senior the staff briefing. Review third quarter financials with Paul. Lunch with Damien. Um, human subjects protocol review with Doctor Ever uh, Everill. Uh, ethics review board. Offer water. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Literally going to do an experiment on the doctor? Human subjects protocol review. Oh, maybe they're going to talk about the offer of the water. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Three VIP Colonel Thomas Nelson, U.S. Army. Huh. Scythe? Hmm. Review slide uh, slides for per, uh, procurement conference and post-demo sales meeting with Colonel Nelson. Maybe they got their funds from Colonel Nelson. Maybe that's why they revised... Of things a bit. Sarge Jr. There we go. You picked up Sarge Jr.? I'm guessing that was on Sarge. That's actually a pretty sweet weapon. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Alright, um, I guess we are done in here. I mean, we grabbed everything that we need. We can just scoot down there. The gas. <laughs> You, you can't get away from the gas. <laughs> you definitely cannot get away from the gas, but where are you, buddy? Are you down here? Oh! Talk Hi. to this dude. You, you aren't real. You aren't real. I'm definitely get away. real. <laughs> get away. Oh, you poor dude. I mean, you are a gunner. I mean, you're dumb enough to come in here without protection. We'll leave him alive. He'll just die going crazy. That's it. They're everywhere. Yep, you get you get those green little men that are running around. And please evacuate the building. Ooh. Under my skin. Oh, what are we? Out. Where are we getting to? I'm glad I didn't leave yet. It's under my skin. Oh, Holy minigun! Why? Why do we have a minigun? What's the need? Mainframe access terminal. Chair. Nope. Definitely not chair. Humor? Nope. Definitely not humor. Um, let's the see. There we go. Mainframe status. Uh, one of ten servers normal. Four of ten servers non-responsive disconnected. And five of ten servers critical failure. One administrator and zero users are active. Critical system failure have been detected. Replace the affected machine as Please soon as possible to prevent data loss. The building. Let's uh, reset the password, I guess. Admin three. That is a secure password. That is not very good. If you guys are, uh, if you guys have, you know, any any idea that you need to, um, like any security um, precautions, make sure you guys change your passwords uh, frequently. And uh, make sure they're complex. It's important. It's very important. Uh, where do we... What's in here? 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on? What was that all about? Why why did that happen? Is it gonna be okay if I go in here? Oh, I'm like, I have a mask on, right? Yeah, I have a mask on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy. I can't read. Please evacuate the building. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Stop decontamination. Is that the hallucinogenic stuff? That's Is that why I'm getting hurt? It's not like I'm getting hurt. It's like I'm being affected by something. Did that guy look kind of weird? I don't think I trigger these, do I? No. Um, huh. bunch of steel, is. stealth boy, grenades. What is what, Heather? Is that an exit? That's an exit sign. I thought that was a Please someone down there. Evacuate the building. Test results in visual wave. Third test, a complete success. Admiral was impressed, inquired about the shipboard installations. DM, your Invisual Wave is five mirrors, two hack stealth boys, and a trapped door or a trap door. Makes for a splashy demo, but you really cross a line this time. Sales went 200 units for by December. Good luck with that. Eradicator. All biological and chemical contaminants destroyed. Subject in test chambers received. 5,100 rads radiation. Observers left the viewing room before subject skin disintegrated. Test chamber stripped and deconstructed. DM, so you built a two-ton machine that irradiates people. What part of a handheld uh, field de de decontaminator did you not understand? Points for getting the VIPs out before things got messy. So that wasn't even what they were trying to do. They were trying to remove the uh, contamination. Uh, dispersant. Uh, subject's survival test failed to recover from treatment. Ran screaming at a sight of own children in waiting room. Police still in pursuit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Apprehend subject institutionalized. And that was like two days later. Uh, dispersant, is, dispersant is supposed to stop riots, not start them. This entire line of research is a joke. And transferring the project to... Um, Aaron, send her your files and destroy the samples, then it clean out your desk. Oh man, he got he got, he got canned. He got canned. Despite my new formulation, gas still causes traumatic adre adrenal gland rupture and frenzy in four out of five subjects. One survived initial exposure and began to uh, clim um, climate before being beaten to death by other subjects. Hmm. Uh, adjust dosage, retest, a at least this is, makes some progress. Detected. If marketing would Please just position this as a military-grade chemical weapon, we'd be done here. Uh, would make a grenade, great grenade or artillery shell. That's for sure. Like, if you could literally launch that onto the other side and they started fighting each other. Yikes. Subject successfully incapacitated, paralyzed, uh, appears to be permanent. <laughs> yeah, okay. Transfer to Medford Memorial for monitoring. You are the lead engineer on the dam, um, Mesmentron, and you can't even get crowd classification right with one of your own prototypes to re reverse engineer. What? Did they mez you on the way out? You're the highest paid researcher here. Expect better. Now, I read those in the wrong order. Uh, I usually read from, like, top down, but this is, like, opposite direction. Hmm. Got a key. Gunner's note. Gunner's note. Why do we have a gunner's note? A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. We will in a minute. Gunner's note. Got to focus. Writing might help. Some kind of gas in the lab. We broke in. I got out. Or it got out. Hit the vents. Went everywhere. 
Everyone just snapped. Lucky and Harl, uh, Harold drew on me. Dropped them dead, I think. Hurts to think. Sealed the door again. Can't let any more get out. Wait long enough. Maybe I can adjust. Have to tough it out. Have to hurt so much. And hear them. Voices. They're coming. They're coming. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, we're stopping. Uh, we've got hallucinogen lab notes. A chemical or mission briefing. That's what it is. Sorry. Please evacuate. Classified no target hallucinogen mission tech salvage. Objective, make contact with your recon team, frontal assault, take out opposition or automated defenses, fortified positions, secure pre-war military tech, Klein especially interested in the Invisa wave and eradicator weapons, details, sketchy, access mainframe, download schematics, access targets of opportunity, rapid withdraw. They did not get out alive. Now, was this dude not having like some kind of Invisa something or is it this dude? backpack ammo. I swear one of these dudes had some kind of like funky weird thing about them. But I, I did not find Repeat. A any any of that tech yet. Detected. Was it you? Evacuate the building immediately. There's a bunch of radiation over here. Darlene's just like, ah, you know, we're just gonna hang out here. Those are the two dudes that were that drew on them. No, I don't see any other tech or anything here. And if I do miss something, let me guys, uh, let me know, guys. I'd be more than happy to walk back here and access it. Get a key. That's probably to head out this door. Talk to Colonel so Whitehill. Can't. You cannot oh. go along with this plan. Oh, yes, I don't want to go along with this plan. You have me disobey orders. I understand what's going on. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, what are you going on about? What are you talking about? Look, I'm sure the senator's peddling this ideal of a world without mutation. If it were that easy, I'd be right there with him. The reality of this is, if Senator Matthews gets his way, the repercussions will be unfathomable. Dude, I, I'm. To yeah, let's not do this. Let's work together. Um, it's not that bad. Tell me what's going on. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? For as long as I can remember, Enclave scientists have been trying to modify the FEV to attack mutated tissue in some way or another. Matthews wants Dr. Kane's strain to be as aggressive and indiscriminate as possible. And there's the problem. People like you and General Ward, Enclave personnel who haven't been exposed to radiation for extended periods of time, the FEV wouldn't touch you. But people like me, Enclave remnants who've had to scavenge the wastes for years. We've been exposed to enough radiation that the FEV would end us. Mm. And once people catch wind of the FEV, uh, I guarantee they will all band together to destroy the Enclave. They'd be fighting for their survival. We can't let this happen. Okay. Yeah, I am totally for this. You should turn yourself in. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Are there any other options? I don't know what to say. Oh my god, some <laughs> vertebrae just blew up. Hmm. Are there any other options? I suppose a few sacrifices had to be made in order to preserve the greater good. Um, let's just ask about any other options. Are there any other options? What I'm going to propose sounds extreme. Is extreme. But there really is no other option. General Ward firmly believes in the Senator's plan, and we don't have the authority to stop the FEV distribution system from being built. I'm afraid the only choice we have is <gasps> to eliminate Senator Matthews and General Ward. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Okay, um... Why are you telling me all this? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, no, I mean, we understand why, because she, you know, she's affected. It would basically kill her as well. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, let's let's get a little bit more information, maybe. Can I ask some questions? Yeah, please do. Hmm. What's your plan, exactly? Of course, I still believe in the Enclave's vision. The United States of America is rightfully ours. We are the country's successor. 
I believe that with our world-class equipment and facilities, we can take back what's ours through use of force. Okay. What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? High Command's response is definitely a concern. There's no doubt they're pushing for the FEV's worldwide deployment, too. Unfortunately, all we can do is be hopeful that they're accepting of my leadership, and that I can run enough interference to derail the plan. If not, we'll have to figure it out. I know that isn't the answer you were hoping for. I'm all for it. That's all. All right. So, what do you say? Uh, let's do this. Okay. I understand. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. Thank you. Obviously, I don't need to tell you that you can't gun them down in cold blood. Their deaths need to look like an accident. Ooh. And they need to die together. That's our best chance of keeping suspicions low. Vertibird. <laughs> just put them on a vertibird and send them somewhere that they're just going to be attacked and crash. <laughs> because it happens all the time. Okay, uh, let's get started then. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting challenge for sure. Well, this will be an interesting challenge. It's no secret General Ward and I haven't seen eye to eye for a while. I think it's best if I stay away, so his death can't be traced to me. I'll be at the Army Depot until the deed is done. By the way, if you get found out, I'm not going to be able to compromise my position and bail you out. So be careful. Oh boy. Good luck, Major. You're doing the right thing. Mm. Oh, guys. Oh, man, this is going to be fun. Um, I'm totally for this whole ordeal, and I'm I'm so glad that we have the option to do this, where we can stop, or I mean, not do the FEV. Is, is that the crash bird to bird over there? Which is kind of odd. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be ending the episode here. Thank you guys so much for a bleed out syringe. What is that? <laughs> I never not seen that before. I must have accidentally picked that up somewhere. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me. And thank you guys for... That's not exactly what I wanted to do. There we go. Um, thank you guys for hanging in with me for so long while I was gone. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely incredible. Amazing community. Um, so if you guys pat yourself on the back because you guys truly are... Um, I, I, I appreciate all the support that you've been giving. Uh, if you guys are interested in supporting me, like I said earlier, I do have uh, membership programs here on YouTube, Patreon, and over on FlinkFireGaming.com. I uh, do have merchandise. We do have a whole bunch of things, I guess. Um, we do have, like I said, merch. We have an Amazon affiliate link program. So if you shop on Amazon, I'd really appreciate it if you use that. I do earn a commission on those. Uh, Zadax affiliate. Uh, link again commission on those we do have a community discord like I mentioned that before uh, join the discord it's growing it's slowly growing if you guys have any kind of interesting uh, things that you want to post about uh, or talk with the other community members head on over there hang out uh, post your you know like maybe like stuff that you've been working on or maybe even screenshots um, I know that we've got uh, uh, someone over there that's posted a lot of stuff about their mod experience over in Skyrim which uh, which is amazing they have some amazing uh, images and short uh, or uh, screenshots they have uh, so highly recommend go check that out and if you have questions about any kind of modding like any any one of these um, games or anything that you're in you're playing in uh, head on over there and just find the the game you know in the uh, on the in the left hand side uh, and, and just ask away and I'm more than happy to help out or as well as any of the other community members too so uh, also I'm over on Twitter or on X so go head over there. Uh, information about all this stuff is down in the description below, so it's easy to click on and get you on your way. Guys, thank you so much for being absolutely amazing, and we'll see you guys next time.